graphics. I put GIMP on here. Now GIMP is basically a Photoshop sort of replacement. It doesn't look anything like Photoshop, but you can get around that by going to a website called Photo GIMP, he says, and then basically Photo GIMP. There it is. You download this, you download the GIMP from the Flatpak store, the main store, then you download this and you, you put it in and it basically makes GIMP look like Photoshop. So it's a bit easier to use. I mean, it's a very powerful image editor. You've got Inkscape as well. I haven't put it on here. Inkscape's great for, for vector graphics. Um, what else for graphics? We've got Blender, fire that up quickly. Download that for a, a hugely powerful 3D package that you can do literally. You can tell how powerful it is by the top here. Sculpting, UV editing, texture painting, shading, animation, rendering, everything's in the top there. So that's, that's all good to go. So you've got that as well for 3D, making 3D on this system. And then games. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. Steam and something like Steam, you know, Steam has propelled Linux into the spotlight, really, because of the Valve um, sort of like have their own mini Steam operating system, uh, sorry, Linux operating system, which is Steam OS. It used to be, I'm sure it's Debian, but now it's Arch. And that's on their Steam decks. So they make all their games, they want good games to be compatible with Linux. So we've got the thing called the Proton layer. The Proton's a translation layer that sits in between a Windows game and Linux and lets you run it. 